All right, here's the video review for Fans Hobby MB14 Cap. Uh, their homage to Hosehead from G1, finishing off the Junior Headmasters here. A little trilogy, I guess quadrilogy if you count Nightbeat. Um, great, comes in a nice small package like all of these guys do, packaged in vehicle mode. Fun little fire truck. Uh, he comes with his bio card and instruction booklet. One minor issue on the instruction booklet. So... That, I mean, it is the right instructions for Cap. Just says Ace Hitter on it for some reason, but the instructions are correct for everything else. So, a minor, a minor issue that can be overlooked. But here he is. He is a super fun miniature little fire truck here. He rolls very well, and I've been having a whole lot of fun zoom zooming him all over the place. A few stickers like the bumper, the bumper uh, license plate, and the silver bumper here are stickers. I don't know why that's discolored there a little bit. Um, some detail here, back bumper sticker, another one over here, or back license plate. There's not a whole lot visible here in vehicle mode. Uh, a few here on the ladder as well. The ladder does collapse and extend, and the little extinguisher is on a hinge like that. You can see his weapon stores right there in vehicle mode. But all in all, super fun, super roomy little fire truck. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. He's been a lot of fun. If you open him up, his... Uh, he kind of wedges in there, but the little uh, junior driver can sit inside. There's a couple other decal stickers over here, a little data sheet over here, and a speedometer next to the steering wheel. Uh, there on the inside of the doors, the steering wheel does rotate, and you can pull the smaller pilot out. He's pretty cool. He's got room for two, uh, so if you wanted to have another pilot ride with him, maybe even his fire gut self from fire guts or from Orange Power Baser, you can. Uh, the chairs are a little weird, because like I said, he kind of wedges in there, and the chairs have a couple odd hinges in them, despite not really being needed uh, for transformation, and then some little tabs all up, up them, that if they tabbed in anywhere to these little guys to hold them in place a little better, would be one thing, but it's just not entirely sure what the design was on those chairs. There's, a little, there's also a little tab here that flip, rotates around that doesn't seem to do anything in the instructions. I thought maybe they would fold up into the leg and be structural support, but they just kind of flip up into the leg. At least there's nothing specific about them in the manual. So whatever, an odd choice for chairs, but you can get the, the pilot to ride in the driver's seat, which is cool. Close that up. And then back here in the back, there's a little storage for one head. So if you have both pilots riding in the front, if you have a second one in there, you're going to have to find someplace else for their little hat because there's only room for one back here. And it kind of, Took me a minute to figure out how it goes in because it's got a little, there actually is a little tab in there, a little angled tab that when you slide this in this way, it only goes in one way. It, it fits into this little slot here on the, on the hat, the helmet, whatever you want to say. So it just kind of fits in there, but it does store and fit in vehicle mode. So you don't have to worry about it sitting around when your pilot's in robot mode. So kind of nice. And then of course the pilot has a little Ball joint shoulders, hinge elbows, ball joint hips, hinge knees. Got an ab crunch there to fold up. And then a ball joint at the head. Maybe just a swivel. But uh, again, you just kind of fold them all up. Collapse the legs, straighten the arms. And then you take the little helmet piece and it clips right onto the front here. To form the head for the full robot. Which we'll go ahead and get to. So we'll set him off to the side for right now. So the first thing you want to do is get the gun out. You can kind of pull this dark hinge, the, the ladder's on. You just kind of pry it forward. Just kind of wiggle it until it pops out. Uh, because of this, this tab right here tabs into the red piece here, and that's what holds it in place. There's a, there's a couple little tabs here. Sorry, my finger's in the way. But that's mostly just, it goes around this, but it doesn't really clip onto this. It's just a space to kind of keep it from wibbling inside there. But you can just pull the gun out. And again, you can extend that, flip the handle down, and set that off to the side. On to the transformation, which is actually pretty cool and fairly satisfying. So first things first, pull the whole kind of front end of the cab away here like this. We'll deal with all this stuff back here anyway. Open up these tabs and fold them up. Now one thing I will say, when you're going, especially when you're going back to vehicle mode, it's, it's less of an issue in robot mode, but um, a lot of these panels are on dual hinges. Like these dark hinges are generally dual hinges. 
And uh, if something's not fitting quite right, make sure you've got that hinge straightened or folded on the right hinge, because sometimes it's easy to say, fold this around at the upper hinge when it really needs to be folded down at, at the lower hinge to fit. Like I could take this and I could fold this around this way and then fold it down. I guess that one, the way that one works, it kind of automatically flattens, but some of them not so much. So you want to make sure you're folding it at the proper place and make sure that's flattened uh, or straightened properly. Uh, and you may, that may be the issue why things aren't sitting properly. But anyway, bring this down, bring the legs down, go ahead and untab them from each other. And then under here, so this is what I'm talking about. Open up the little front door. This piece just, again, there's a little peg here that I don't understand what it's for because it doesn't seem to peg in anywhere. Um, there's a little, tiny hinge in the front, but this just kind of folds up into here. You just kind of get it out of the way there. You can even come up a little bit like that. Just kind of up into that general area because see, it still fits. Uh, bring this down like this, and then the wheel comes up. And it doesn't flip all the way up and around. It just kind of comes up on that gray hinge and just kind of collapses in up to about there. It doesn't, it doesn't move the inner gray hinge to about a 90 degree angle from where it was. It just kind of brings the wheel up. It doesn't flip or fold up all the way around there. Then the foot comes down and rotates out like this. I'm going to get this panel out of the way so this can fold into the leg like that. And then, um, it's not much cut up here. Then this folds in, bring the foot all the way down like that. You want a kind of a 90 degree angle here. Fold that in, fold this closed, and then this piece folds all the way around and is gonna cover that whole gap. You'll see this little tab up here that's gonna slot right up in there and just kind of covers up that gap there in the foot. Or in, I guess in the side of the leg. And then the foot, you don't have to do this because one, it's very easy to collapse back in while you're posing. And I don't know that it dramatically increases the stability, but you can pull this up and widen the foot a little bit. You want to face it in this way. And then up here, you collapse the leg up, but you want to make sure this hinge kind of collapses up into the leg. This little piece with the, with the, hole, with the empty bits in it collapses up into the thigh. So kind of push up and collapse the leg up into there like that. So that gold sticker basically comes up against that white thigh. And do the same on the other leg. Open this up, just kind of flip this up and around. Again, you're, it's not gonna really interfere with anything, you just wanna get it out of the way. Is that tab in up there? Nope, there's no, 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 no idea what that tab is for. Like that, and rotate it out like that. Fold the wheel hinge up and in, like that. Fold this panel in, close that up. Close that up and then fold this around and down. And then again, go up here, collapse the leg. And then you're done with the legs. You can go ahead if you want and rotate them around to the front of the body. We're getting caught on something here. I'm not sure what. Uh, I have one, of the, there we go, one of the hip skirts was catching. But there's the lower body done. Oh, and expand this foot as well. Then up here, untab this panel and this panel. And again, when you're going back, you want to have his hands with his palms facing up toward this hinge with the fingers just slightly open so this little gray piece just kind of fits in there. It doesn't have to be exact. There's plenty of room in here for the fist, but just enough so that doesn't get the fist, the fingers don't get in the way of that gray hinge in there. Rotate it around like this, fold this up, fold it up like that, and then it will tab and clip in. There's a um, when you fold it up, there is a tab here, and then this little piece kind of fits in this empty divot on the arm like that. And then fold this panel up on the side, and this panel up on the side, and that panel up on the side. Untab the wheel base here, and then these panels, which were tabbed into here, fold up over that, fold up over that, and come up here, open the... Uh, this flat open get your finger nail back in there open this up this panel where the uh the hum was stored and then this up here this pan panel opens up folds up on top of this and then this panel folds in to there and then close that back up and then you can stand them up bring the arms forward and around like that fold the ladder flat against his back fold this panel down like this you can see there's a couple little divots here for the hinge. 
fold this down like that. It doesn't sit quite flat, although again, some of that is make sure those double hinges are, are properly aligned. Fold these pieces all the way in and around. And I like that when these pieces fold in, there's some silver detailing here that's not visible in vehicle mode, but when they're folded in just to give it some detail here on the back. And this comes up and there's instructions. There's a little tab here. I'm gonna lift it just over that tab, just past it. And that'll keep it from going back too far. And then the arms, extend them and rotate them. Rotate the wrist, extend, rotate, rotate the wrist. And there's the body in robot mode. And there we go, get the hips all lined up like that. You can put his gun, and I like this, unlike some of the previous ones where the guns are kind of tabbed in weakly, this one actually has the little rail to slide into the fist so he holds his gun securely. And then you take the robot head, plug it in like that, and there is Cap in robot mode. And you can open up his little chest, and he has a little... If you, you just kind of see the end of it as they move, but opening the chest does flip up his little power meter there, like the old headmasters did. Um, he, but he's got a swivel here. The, the, the socket that he plugs into swivels, and then he's got the joint. Uh, he can look around there from the smaller robot. Dual hinge shoulders, bicep swivel hinge elbows. He's got the wrist swivel. Fingers are all one piece. Oh, actually, no, the, the index finger is a separate piece, but curved fingers that can move as a chunk. He's got waist swivel, and again, the ladder. There's room here for the ladder to angle out to let some posability happen. Now he's got some hip skirts here, but he's got ratcheting hips, and, and the, the, the front to back are small detents, and, and you can kind of hear them clicking. You can't quite hear the side to side is loudly, but there are very clear detents in the uh, in the hip. So unlike some of the previous ones that had some loose, looser hips, he does have a nice into hip ratcheting knees. You can hear there the, the lower part ratchet. The top part's just a tight joint, and then the lower part ratchets. He's got ratcheting ankles. Um, again, there's the collapse that foot when you grab it. But again, it doesn't look bad with a foot collapse. So either way, and he's got forward and back ratcheting ankles. So nice and solid, nicely posable. I love the way the rope, the cab of the fire truck becomes his lower legs. I like that even in, in like in the original, he's got the still got the same little ankle wheels down here that the original toy did. Even though he doesn't have the wheels up here on his chest, they've moved to his back like the original uh, figure. I think he is absolutely my favorite of the Junior Headmasters. Um, he's just a lot more solid overall. He's because he's a squarer vehicle. He's a chunkier robot. Um, here he is with Ace Hitter, uh, a.k.a. Ghost Shooter. And also, uh, these two are the best two, I think, of the four Junior Headmasters they've done, uh, just just overall. I think the Minerva mold, the Minerva slash Nightbeat mold, it was neat. It did some neat things, but it wasn't quite as refined as, as Ace Hitter ended up being. Um, Ace Hitter does still have some of the, like I said, he's got his hip joints have gotten a little loose. Um, and then the, the ab crunch. Um, and he doesn't, he really, his fingers are, are a little flipply and uh, a little, like they're just, they're just not quite super tight. And then his guns have little tiny tabs and it's very easy when posing to knock the guns out of his hand. And you don't have that problem with Cap. But like if you have, because if you have to only get one of them, definitely get Cap. He is fantastic. Uh, if you can get two, these are the two I'd recommend so far. Like I said, I love Power Baser. I've, I've enjoyed every version of that mold from the Thunder Clash to the Machine Wars Optimus Prime to the you know, Fire Guts we've got back on the dresser. Um, they just make some really solid toys, but if you just want something small in front from them, either one of these guys will do it. I do think Cap is probably the better of the two. I really, really like him. They've just been steadily improving these smaller guys and, and the quality shows off here on this guy. I love him to death. He's fun to roll around, and he's going to be coming around with me uh, for a few days just because I'm enjoying him so much. But there is Fans Hobby Master Builder MB14 Cap. Check him out. Dev, you've got him on pre-order. You're going to love him when he gets there. Maybe you've gotten yours already. They're starting to show up. They're starting to hit retailers, I think, this week. So, uh, But yeah, a lot of fun. If you haven't gotten into this line yet, like I said, you might want to try one. You might want to try Ace Hitter first, just because I think if you go cap then to Ace Hitter, Ace Hitter is going to seem like a little bit of a downgrade. Not a huge downgrade. Ace Hitter is still a really solid toy, but uh, Cap is just the refinement over these small guys. 
uh, that I'm really, really happy with. I, I just love the chunkiness of him. I really love his fire truck legs. Anyway, there's Cap from Fans Hobby. Pick him up.